there. For sure, a lucky sort of mascot. Oh, what about that for an attack? But it's Terahertz that has the side ripped off it. Has it caused real damage? I am so impressed with Fluffy. Their first time in Robot Wars and Terahertz are discombobulated. Hello everyone and welcome to Robot Wars Rematches where it's Fluffy vs. Terahertz today and I just can't imagine this going well for Terahertz. So we're testing out a new build with him, it's a the Seaborg build, uh, matching the modern version of Terahertz with the big front side. And also we have a new Fluffy where his weapon motor can't be hit because it's using component freedom. So I think Fluffy's still gonna win, but let's see how it goes! Rematch from Series 5, Heat L, Round 2, where in real life Fluffy dominated and destroyed Terahertz. Let's see if the new Terahertz build here can beat the new Fluffy design. I just don't have a good feeling about a horizontal spinner having to go against a hammer, but we'll see. Fluffy's gotten a lot of decent shots off already, while Terahertz's weapon seems to be a bit slow with firing and coming down. He's had opportunities missed. That last strike though he got and he misses the next one as Fluffy continues to take little chips out of the front of the wedge. Another swing and a miss from Terahertz. He really needs to clean it up and clean it up soon because he is taking a lot of abuse from Fluffy. Fluffy the smaller machine with the better weapon. I swear nobody backed into the pit release button there but the pit has descended. I don't know if we're going to need it because Terahertz is really starting to struggle at the moment. There's a nice shot from Fluffy. And we could be very close to the end here. Terahertz has missed too many chances with that axe to bring it down. Another shot from Fluffy. I don't know how much longer Terahertz is going to last. And the answer was not very long. Fluffy wins. Yeah, that was pretty brutal stuff there from Fluffy, who looked pretty good with the new build that you'll see in Robot Wars Reborn Cup Season 2. As for Terahertz, I mean, I don't know. This weapon didn't do much better than the one we've used in the past, where it's the one on the HBZ tech. I don't know how we're going to get a good terahertz axe to, uh, to function like it should, because that just took too long to come down. Whatever. The fight is over, and it is time for the second fight. But of course, we got to spin the Wheel of Mayhem first. Let's see what we get. And it's inverted controls. God damn it. Here's how inverted controls works. Normally, up arrow goes up, down goes down, left is left, right is right. Well, here's our reverse. To go forward, you have to hit the right arrow. To go backward, you hit left. To turn right, you hit the up arrow. To turn left, you hit the down arrow. So yeah, it is incredibly mixed up and complicated, and it's going to lead to some terrible driving, so get ready. Three. And let inverted controls begin for these two machines. Fluffy coming out on top in the normal fight. And with a result on the Wheel of Mayhem that probably go ag goes against him. I think Terahertz is doomed here again. He's the one that needs to be more precise, whereas Fluffy can get away with some poor driving a little bit. Fluffy coming to take some shots on Terahertz in the corner patrol zone, the CPZ. I think there's a piece off as well, but it's... Kind of hard to tell. Kind of near Fluffy right now. Yep, there it is. He just hit it. Thank you, Fluffy. Wasn't quite sure if it was there or not, but it was. Also, not sure where it came from, but it's there. Terahertz is trying to line up an attack, and now Fluffy has marauded over towards the side of the Reno with the pit release, which he has now deployed. Probably not a good idea when you're not going to be as good of a driver, but he's decided, you know what? I've already won the actual fight. I'm just going to go for it. And it's looking like he's going to win this fight as well because he's gotten a lot of cheap shots on Terahertz without having to worry about a reply or a retaliation. Terahertz trying now to strike. He got an okay shot there. Both bots trying to make sure they don't accidentally drive into the pit as well. And here come the shots from Fluffy that we were expecting to see. He's getting close to knocking out Terahertz. Oh, and he got it! Cease. Just barely. Yeah, this was never going to be a contest, was it? The new Fluffy build, without having to worry about a motor that could get hit to lose his weapon, it was always going to be smooth sailing, and Terahertz' weapon just hasn't cut it for him. Uh, hopefully we can figure out a design for Terahertz that works, besides 
something normal with, you know, just one motor and everything. I don't like that idea, but whatever. We'll see what we have to do. All right, time to bring back the outro food for thought questions regarding these two and their matchup. Now, I think Fluffy was always destined to beat Terahertz with the way these two matched up, so let's go with this question. Who do you think had a better chance in those days of Robot Wars to win a title? Obviously, Terahertz got to a grand final in Series 6. I don't think Fluffy got that close, but hey, could he have gotten one? Or was Terahertz more likely to have gotten one with all factors considered? Let me know. Have your say below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That switch back. Perfect. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Hurry. Hurry. Okay. Oh, shit! Oh, my God!